Well, welcome to the Glass Studio. Um, I've been working with a student and we found something called the Cutter's Mate. And we just wanted to talk a little bit about it, go through the opening of it and um, the first time using the machine. So let's get started. That is the Cutter's Mate. And it's supposed to be special for uh, cutting glass for people that have carpal tunnel or have had arthritis. And the head of the um, device is weighed, so you don't have to put so much of your own pressure on it when you cut. <laughs> so how did you find out about this? Um, so I started Jean's class, <laughs> and, which is something I wanted to do for years and years. And I loved it, but my wrists really hurt after the first night. And so I started Googling and researching what else was out there. And I came across this, and I asked some uh, Facebook groups if they recommended it, and everybody said it was absolutely great. So, all right. Give it a shot. Okay. Well, there's a lot of parts. There are entire pieces. So these are the waffle grids, and these are supposed to help catch the little shards of glass. Okay. Um, and then you just empty it over the garbage can. But this part here will clip into this grid. If I YouTube this all correctly. Hmm. <laughs> And what is it called, the company it's from? It's called Creators. Creators Cutters. Yeah, Creators Cutters Bank. Yeah, bring that box over and let's get a shot of the box. Okay. Creators Cutters Mate Mini. Cut, create, enjoy. Okay. <laughs> Another thing that these guys brought that is amazing are these little fans <laughs> because it has been pretty hot in the studio and these fans really help even though they're teeny little things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these little pegs that click in here. And that's supposed to... And they just fit right in some of the little squares? They do, yeah. Okay. Just pops in and then... This is the magic. <laughs> so this weighs about two pounds, they said. Oh, wow. So it's pretty decent. And then these little sliding bars are supposed to click on each end here. And then it has a little rubber stopper on it so you can rest it that way. And then it just has this arm that will... So where's the cutter wheel? It's under that yellow yeah. thing? Yep, it's right under there. And then this, you don't have to buy with it, but we did is to do straight, straight And cuts. probably cutting with pattern shears is not the easiest. It's not. <laughs> You're right. Oh. And I haven't figured out how to flip this on yet. All right. And that's for doing straight cuts, maybe? Yep. Awesome. So line it up. Okay, I think we need to practice. Yep, let's give it a shot. Okay. So we kind of moved it so that you would have more room to go side by side with yep. the glass. So why don't 
Why did you put it up one instead of on the last one? Mm -hmm. Why did I do it this way? Now, there, I understand. I don't know why. I'm just being really right. I have no idea. No, that's not straight now. Yeah, because this one's on the last one and that one's on the one. Oh, there. But what you want on the last one? Well, this, I mean, so this has a range over here. Okay. Nice. Right over there. All right. So, so do you take like, off the yellow cap? Yeah. You, is this plug in your OCD you want this summer? Is that what you're saying? No. Uh -uh. <laughs> Not at all. I wondered why you put it up this one instead of on this because one. Because I'm right-handed, I think I'm probably going to use it over here more, so I just left myself more space. But are you saying with the notches, or? It's okay. Sorry, I'm just messing up here. I'm sorry to see what we can do. Yeah. Okay, so this part is still to figure out. So isn't that the straight? Yeah. So you don't want it on yet, do you? I don't think so. Unless we're trying to cut something straight. So. Tell that you you know where every where the notches go. <laughs> I watched it a bunch on YouTube. Good. YouTube certified. Woohoo! Okay. So do you have to dip your end into oil? Yeah, it also has this little oil reserve right here. Um, but you only want to do like up to ten drops. If you fill it, then you get a vacuum and it doesn't actually yeah. allow the oil to come down, so you just need oh. the tiniest bit for that to function. Okay. That's what they said. So that's all there. Man, that is, that's how you feel that, Jane. That's... Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be so good. Okay. So let's try it with this and not worry about the straight thing. Okay. Do you want to draw a pattern on there, or do you want me to just freehand? Freehand. Yeah. I have no idea what I'm doing. But don't you want to push the oil on your... Yeah, let's... let's okay, a little bit of a dip. Okay, and they said that the um, screw goes towards you, right? Just I like use it... Just the hand one? Uh, screw goes away from me when I do it. Okay, maybe. Yep, you're right. That looks better anyway. Okay, so it's supposed to cut at exactly a 90 degree angle, so it should... And you can just. just and you're there. barely pushing that at yeah, all. I'm, I'm guiding it with just with my fingertips there, and then okay. Else in the okay. So there's some pliers on the end. Or could you tap it from the bottom like you we're can. used to? They were all breaking it with their hands. I'm just not brave enough to. But I think these are going to be too too rough, mom. Okay. Do you want me to try to do it by hand? Let's see if it'll work. I don't know, you're more brave than I am here. All right, here, let's okay. try. All right. Okay, so you're supposed to just, it's supposed to break, huh? Uh, maybe I, all right, can you hand me a straight cutter? I'm going to tap. Okay. Let's see what happens here. There you go. It worked. Wow. What do you know about that? Okay, so we've marked this piece. And we're going to see. We've got this little black rubber stopper here that comes just barely above the grid to give you some grip to keep this from sliding around. Oops. So, oh, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> Let's do it this straight cut first. I'm just barely holding that. Okay, I didn't even hear I didn't it. I either. wonder. Can't quite feel it. Should I do it again? Maybe I need to put a little more. Okay, try to break it and we'll see. Should I use the other nippers? The, I would, this is the I would use. 
pliers when I get them. So line my line up. Hmm. Oh, that didn't score. Yeah. Might have to put the teensiest bit of pressure. Yeah. What is the purpose of the oil? Uh, it lubricates the cutting wheel on the cutter. Maybe I'm going to try it without the stopper. Okay. Ah, I'm making myself nervous. Oh, oh my. Okay. I heard it score that so time. So with that much, would it be worth to cut it? Hold on. I have to see if this works. Woohoo! Nice. Use Should your use numbers? your pliers, yeah. Mm -hmm. Flat side up. Is it good? Oh no, that's really mm. thick. Okay, maybe another score mm. a little deeper. Maybe I don't go off the edge as well enough. I think you just have to learn the right pressure, not very, not as much as a regular cutter, but a little. Try to just rock it down. And try to go on your side, yeah. I was just going to say on your side of the line. Oh, my okay. goodness. You're right, that's thick glass. I <laughs> should grind that huh? Grind the rest, yeah. yeah. I'm going to break it apart. See, if it's right against the ruler, then how do I get it on the side like that? I don't see it moved. This is going to take some practice. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hmm. Sounded Just... like it scored at the top, but Ooh. oh, maybe that worked. Hold it towards me. I don't know if that's... Okay, that worked. Okay, it sucks that you can pull towards you, which we've been told is a no-no. Let's try it. Oh, it's too short. It uh, stops there. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what so do we have to do? Turn it all around. Yes. Yeah. So that might be a limitation of this one. I just yeah. have to have it right this oh, that makes me the same. Here. I know that's what I was thinking. Okay. And then push away. Okay. Yeah. Should work. We have a much bigger one that would do that beautifully. Maybe I should have got the big one. You did it. Break. Okay. Okay. So, hmm. Well, hey, I think that was a pretty interesting video. When I worked on this video, I worried that it might not be too um, professional. However, I went on YouTube and looked at all the other videos that I could find about the cutters made, and here's what I found. Most of the videos were done by either beginners who didn't know what they were doing, just like this one, or they were done by salesmen who didn't know how to teach. And so I thought that this was pretty good because it shows how long it takes to get it out of the box and set it up. And it shows you that the cutters made 
is going to be, first of all, if you're a complete amateur, it's going to work for you pretty good. If you're already good at it, you're really going to be able to pick this up quickly. I don't think it's good for people who are who don't need it. If you've got carpal tunnel or if you've got arthritis, then I then there's a reason to use it as an assistant to your uh, to overcome your problem. However, if you don't have a problem, then you're just being lazy. And so I don't think you need to use it because it's just going to slow you down. You still need to learn good techniques. Now, there are three sizes of the cutters made. The one that this student was using was a mini. They have a medium size and a bigger size. Now, bigger's better. However, it also takes more space. And so you have to keep that in mind. If you plan your cuts in advance, if you practice before you score, uh, then you probably won't run into any problems. And I think you're going to enjoy it. All right, see you next time.